Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Ursa Major. He made his first appearance in Incredible Hulk, issue number 250, that was released in August of 1980. His real name is Mikhail Yuryokovich Ursus, and he's a powerful Russian mutant that in his human form stands six feet three inches tall and weighs 255 pounds, having brown eyes and brown hair. Although when he transforms, he's an anthropomorphic brown bear, standing seven feet five inches tall and weighing 955 pounds, being completely covered in brown fur, also having extremely sharp claws and teeth. While in this enhanced form, Ursa has moderate superhuman strength, being far stronger than an average human and even that of an actual brown bear, being able to easily lift about 15 tons. He also has the speed, agility, reflexes, stamina, and durability of a pristine Siberian brown bear specimen. Additionally, Ursa has the benefit of retaining his normal intelligence, even while in his transformed state, giving him full mental access to all of his hand-to-hand -hand combat training, while simultaneously being able to draw on the savage animalistic nature of a bear. Although it is noted that he will slowly begin to lose his intellect if he stays as a bear for longer than six hours straight. Oh, and another drawback is that he has been shown to have quite a bit of a problem with alcohol, gaining a bit of a temper whenever he's been sipping on a bottle. Now, Mikhail was one of the first known mutants that was born in the Soviet Union during the 20th century to live past childhood. This was due to the government's policy of all mutants being considered a threat and being euthanized once their mutant abilities manifested. However, during this period, the government was made to see the potential of using superhumans to serve the state by a scientist named Pieter Phobos, who was allowed to open a facility in school to train these mutants, Mikhail being one of the very first to attend the school. But what no one knew is that Phobos had built a device to take energy from his students to give himself artificial powers. And the process itself actually took out many of the students, with Phobos explaining their deaths away as training accidents. But by the time Phobos's plot was discovered, there was only three students left, Mikhail and two other siblings named Lanya and Nikolai, who were also known as Dark Star and Vanguard. Their former teacher would go into hiding, and the three students would then join the Soviet army for a brief time, soon being used to operate separately as the Soviet super soldiers, and Mikhail being given his code name Ursa Major. During one of their first assignments to investigate a radioactive forbidden zone, they would once again come across their former teacher Phobos, who was planning on irradiating the entire Soviet Union so that he could make more mutants to feed off of. But with the help of the Hulk, Phobos would be defeated and brought to justice. At this point, the Soviet super soldiers resolved to remain together, but they vowed to never blindly follow orders from the state again. Ursa and his teammates would then go on to face off against various different enemies, doing battle with the Dire Wraiths and also coming into conflict with the X-Men and Avengers over their pursuit of the mutant Magneto. However, during this period, Ursa, Darkstar, and Vanguard would decide to defect to America, and due to this would subsequently be pursued by the Supreme Soviets, which was a new superhero team formed by the Soviet government. Nevertheless, the Soviet super soldiers would eventually disband and end up merging with the members of the Supreme Soviets to form the completely new team known as the Winter Guard which is effectively the Russian version of the Avengers. And despite a short stint with an exiled mutant group known as Cyberforce, Ursa would spend the bulk of his career with subsequent versions of this Winter Guard, going on to have various adventures around the world, actually being one of the few mutants that kept his powers after the M-Day event, and playing a prominent role alongside War Machine in repelling the Skrull invasion of Russia. He would even come to respect the fighting skills of Winter Soldier, who he was incarcerated with during one of his several stints in a Russian gulag, which happens to be where he also developed his problem with alcohol. But regardless, Ursa has played a major role in the story of Black Widow, with him not only being instrumental in her most recent clone keeping her old memories, but also helping her bring down the dubious institution known as the Red Room. And although Ursa's actions haven't always been the most noble, you can rest assured that he has the utmost respect and love for his mother Russia, and that he'll do his best to defend those he considers his allies. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the Marvel Universe, 
For my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Ursa Major a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.